pull-offs and camping are not as plentiful here as they were in Canada. Seeing more no trespassing signs. Oh, that's a spot down there with picnic tables. Oh, look at that. That was pretty. I'm going to take you with me today and show you how I look for camping spots. People ask me all the time, how do I find camping? Well, this is how I do it. I just constantly keep an eye out and explore. turnout that I've seen all along the Cassiar and the Alaska Highway so far and they are places that you can just pull out and and camp if you want to as you can see many of them I think pretty much every single one can accommodate pretty much any size rig a lot of you are asking if there's plenty of parking for big rigs and yeah if you'll see if you look closely you'll see some pretty big rigs out there the downside to these for me is that they're too close to the road I don't think I've stayed in any turnouts uh, number one because of Capone and I like to be able to just go out my door and not see anybody and not uh, not have to worry about Capone too much although he doesn't run in traffic but uh, I don't like him near the road and um, also the road noise it's hard for me to sleep with the road noise but these are very typical all along all along my travels here okay so this is Dead Man Lake campground in the Tetlin National Wildlife Refuge um, my first campground since hitting yeah, Alaska, so I want to see what it's all about. It's in the National Wildlife Refuge, which I'm not going to run into a lot. Uh, so I want to find out how much it is and just take a look and show you around so that if you're ever on the Alaskan Highway, you know what to expect when you're looking for camping. And it's good knowledge to have. We'll see how much it is. Well, I was just thinking I'm heading to Toke, hoping that it has a uh, it has cell signal. And I was thinking maybe I could come back here and this could be home base for a few days if it's nice and it's free. Because that's probably where my cell signal will be. And that means I will be able to come out to my camp and edit videos and get videos ready to go and then just go into town for a few hours to get them loaded and take care of comments and emails and things like that. You like free? Yeah. Some of the dirt roads I've been on so far have been better than uh, parts of the Alaskan Highway. <laughs> this is a good dirt road, gravel dirt. It's not washboarded or anything. Man campground camp with caution keep food out of reach free firewood please register I think it's free it's free and not only is the campground free there's free firewood just like in Canada and canoes <laughs> to use want to stay um yeah it says this campground is a free campground however many many people who use this have asked how they can show their appreciation for the campground so donations are accepted sound familiar <laughs> stupid e-baggers <laughs> 
I had to, right? <laughs> damn, damn National Wildlife Refuge e-baggers. <laughs> oh, that's funny right there. I don't care who you are. Oh, well, my ex-husband used to say that. E-baggers. Forest beggars. Not quite. Well, I can come back. That was really cool. That's a nice campground. Kind of wish I didn't need to mosey. I'd stay, I think. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't like campgrounds, even if they're free. I don't usually like campgrounds. Although that one, I wouldn't even have almost felt like I was in a campground. Very private sites. Alright, we're moseying. Wanna mosey? There on the left is another turnout that would be perfect for camping. Most of the turnouts along the highway do permit camping, although if you get close to towns and or campgrounds and resorts, they often say no overnight camping because of course they want you to pay for camping in town. So just be aware of that, but most of them are open for parking overnight and camping. All right, I'm just about 20 miles from Tope, which is definitely close enough for a base camp. So I'm gonna check out this spot over here on the right and see if I can camp here internet and then camp here, life would be good. Utah behind me. Hi Utah. I think I can camp. Yippee. Loud, but if I had an internet signal now, I would be very happy. Alright, yeah, I can camp here. Who can say I can't? It's not very level. Another tip is when I'm in a temporary spot like this, which is really just a um, part, uh, overnight camping is tolerated situation, I don't like to look too permanent. So I don't like to break out my leveling blocks because I kind of just want it to look like maybe I'm parked here for a little while and nothing too permanent. So that's why if I'm out in the open like this in, in, a, in a parking is tolerated area, um, I try to just get level without my leveling blocks. I but I do. Sweet. AT&T has one bar. All right, cool. And then Verizon has nothing. So what I've been doing the last 
30 miles or so is really just checking out the possibilities so that you know let's say I get to toke and I explore a closer to toke or even beyond toke and I can't find anything to camp I know what my options are if I go backward I ended up not camping in any of these spots because I did find something even better about 10 miles on the other side of toke but this is what I do I explore the possibilities so that I know what my options are moving forward or even if I have to go back and in the end I decided not to come back to this one either so this is a state recreation site right near Toke Junction $18 a night so if they catch you here and you haven't paid within 30 minutes it's $20 $18 I don't want to pay $18 let's see how it goes and do I have internet? I have one bar of 1x. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I like free a lot better. I'm not going to camp here. There's like places, they aren't very pretty, but there are plenty of places along. Oh, look how pretty that is. I've seen a couple places that I can park. Forward. Carry on. That was the Toke River Campground. River. 15 feet 8 inches. It's nice to be back on power measurements. Toke is the major overland point of entry into Alaska and it's the primary trade and service center for all types of transportation, especially for tourists coming into Alaska. construction camp on the Alcan Highway in 1942. It was one of the largest camps on the Pioneer Road. It was called Million Dollar Camp as a reference to the cost of equipping and maintaining the highway. The mean monthly temperature in July in Toke is 59 degrees. The average high is 72. The record low in Toke was minus 71 degrees in January of 1965. The average number of hours of daylight in June is about 20. In July, it's about 19. And then in August, it drops quite a bit to 17. A lot of sunlight. Hotel, Fast Eddie's, pizza, steaks, and sandwiches. Oh, I want breakfast. Do they not have breakfast? 
York has eight churches, a public library, a K through 12 school, <laughs> one school, and a University of Alaska Extension Center. Toke is also known as the sled dog capital of Alaska because so many of its residents are involved in some way with dogs and dog mushing. All right, just gonna hang out here, get some work done before I go find a camp. My first moose. Seen lots of black bears. I saw grizzly bears. I haven't seen a moose yet. Hi, moose. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at him. Been sitting inside at the park working. I thought I'd go check this out. Maybe I'll buy another t-shirt. I need a moose mug. Moose poop soap. is the mug considering how much the mug was I thought this would be way too expensive who they have zip ones that's 27 okay I think I have to get a sweatshirt These slippers. <laughs> I need bear slippers. <laughs> the Dell sheep population tends to be very stable over the long term, although weather and predation can cause short-term population changes. The Alaska population is estimated at close to 50,000. Sheep breed in December and lambs are born in May. Normally ewes have one lamb each year. Wolves live throughout most of Alaska in a wide variety of habitats from southeast rain forests to arctic tundra. They live in packs of from two to over 30, but average six to eight in size. Packs defend established territories, although individuals often leave packs and move along distances, move long distances to join or begin new packs. Wolves are thriving in Alaska with more than six to 7,000 wolves here, and numbers have been stable or increasing throughout most of the state. Wolves are not endangered or threatened in Alaska or Canada. I hope I get to see one. The future of wolves in Alaska is secure. Over 98% of Alaska is undeveloped and available to wildlife. Alaskans have insisted on professional wildlife management to provide for the well-being of wolves and other wildlife. What a great model. Great model for the rest of the country. December gets the least amount of sunlight hours in Alaska. In Toke, it's probably about four and a half hours of daylight. What's you doing, bud? He's finding good stuff to eat. I don't know if it's rabbit poop or elk poop or what, but he digs into the grass and eats something. That's all he does. He saw a rabbit earlier. He chased it for like six inches. <laughs> Look! Little what? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Welcome to Free Camping Alaska. Not too shabby, is it? Oh. 
Holy cow, check out the caribou. This is so cool, they're beautiful. Oh shit, they're sketchy. Why are they sketchy? It's about time. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, I passed this nice little small laundry mat with plenty of parking yesterday on my way in, so uh, I think I'll just get some laundry done while I'm here. Alright, it's not open yet. It's open. It's done. Now the hard part of putting it all away. I don't know why I hate putting it all away. <laughs> it's amazing how much I'm finding. They even had a little aisle of gluten-free. They had vegan, some of my vegan stuff. They had tofu. They had good produce. Sporting my new Alaska Highway sweatshirt. Yeah, I had to get one. It was only 20 bucks. It's kind of lightweight, but um, kind of needing sweatshirts <laughs> in Alaska. It's been kind of chilly. I'm kind of hoping it stays chilly. I wouldn't mind. Then I'll go to desert in the winter for summer. That works for me. I decided to move on, so I'm letting Capone out. Uh, I was just going to go back to the camp that I've been at. Oh, maybe I will. I haven't taken any video there. I don't know. I am probably just going to move on up the road. Slowly make my way to Fairbanks.